I'm wearing these shorts I got for Christmas. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like you guys like seeing the reality of just like the working gals. I shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy. Hello. Welcome back to vlog week. This is a vlog week day two. I'm having so much fun. It's only day two and I love like I love that when I talk about yesterday and today like you I don't have to catch you up you know like you know you know what's going on. I just got up obviously. I got dressed and I am so thrilled. It's like 70 degrees out today which is just makes me so happy. But today's the day we're gonna get back in the gym after our holiday vacation of like two weeks. And we are also back to work after basically two weeks as well. I'm trying to decide. I might just do a ponytail. I was gonna do a braid. I might just do a pony. I'm gonna finish getting ready for the day. I really need to do a Nespresso order. I was waiting until I got back from vacation. All I have left is like pods I don't like. I have, I mean, they're, they're okay, but this pod, Exotic Liminaha. It's a double espresso. Oh my God, I absolutely hate this. It is like the grossest thing. It's like, it might've been a limited edition, so you might be lucky enough not to be able to buy this anymore. It, it is like acid, it's so nasty. I hate it, I've been trying to force myself to drink it, but like, I just can't, I can't. And then I also have, whoop, what are these? The Malazio, these are supposed to be like lattes, they're okay, but it's just not strong enough for me. I still can drink them, but it's just, it gets diluted really easily with milk. If you're supposed to make them with milk, but then you kind of lose all the coffee flavor in my opinion. So I'm about to place a nice big order since I'm all out. I found two single espresso pods so that I can make myself a double. These are espresso pods that I like, so. I miss my Nespresso so much. And I ordered new pods, so they should be here in, in vlog week, I would hope. All right, we are back to work. A lot to catch up on today honestly I don't have anything else planned due to the fact that it's my first day back at work so we have lots of catching up to do I have my MacBook over here because I like to put on YouTube videos or a podcast or something in the background so that's what we're gonna do I feel kind of bad because I don't have like any crazy fun plans this week until the weekend so I'm like it's gonna be really boring vlog week, but I feel like you guys like seeing the reality of just like a working gal. So I'm trying to like think of how I can spice things up. I'm also trying to be financially responsible lately. So, you know, there's not gonna be like a lot of shopping or anything crazy like that. So I don't know, I'm just trying to brainstorm. Like I'm definitely gonna go on lots of walks and stuff like that, but the like real fun won't come until the weekend. But that's okay, it's a good mix. This is just like reality, a good mix of a working gal, taking classes, and then some weekend fun. One of my friends that I've known for years since living in Charlotte, just moved into my building, which is super exciting. I now have three of my best girlfriends in Charlotte that live in my building i love it it's very convenient so like we'll literally have like pajama nights we'll, we'll go upstairs and hang out with some of my friends and then my friend annie literally just moved into the unit across from me and we both work from home so we're gonna do some like co-working slash lunch break stuff in the future but today we're gonna go on a lunch break walk together she just moved in so it's actually really fun. It's like you have the benefit of having your friends around, like having roommates, having your friends around, but you don't have to deal with actually having a roommate and you get your own space. So if you can live in the same building as your friends, highly suggest, but I just put on some sneakers. I'm wearing these shorts I got for Christmas. I'm obsessed with them. They're from Petula. I had never heard of the brand, but I saw someone on Instagram 
um, post about them. They're literally so comfortable. And I really like this color. It's like a nice bright red color. I'll link them down below if you are interested. And I do have a code. It's not my code. It's an influencer's code, but I can leave it if you want a discount. But yeah, let's go get in our little lunch break walk. I've just been sitting at my computer working as one does on any Tuesday. It is 4.10, which means my day is almost over. I'm going to try to like head out the door right at 5 to get to the gym. I haven't been since the new year, so I know it's probably going to be a little bit crowded and I have to be back in time for my class, which starts at 7. So I kind of, it's going to be a little bit rushed, but I really want to go get in a workout. I'm probably going to work for about 30 more minutes and then we will head to the gym. You guys know I like to plan out the next day, every day, so I'll plan like one day in advance. So let's go ahead and write our schedule for tomorrow, which is January 4th. We're gonna do another long walk. I have coding class tomorrow. Coding class is tonight rather than Monday night because we have the day off for New Year's, so that's why I have it two days in a row. Only four more classes, you guys. Vlog week, I have a 12 p.m. work meeting and a 3 p.m. Rover meet and greet. So here is the plan for tomorrow. I'm just really focused on my work, grinding, everything like that. About to head out, I've got on my Petula shorts that I'm loving a top from Halara, a Hanes like zip up and my Nike blazers. Since we haven't worked out in a while, I am gonna do pre-workout just because I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Did like a three quarters of a scoop. And I'm also gonna dry scoop some pump product. We're just gonna really get stimulated because I'm really nervous since I haven't worked out in a few weeks. I simply cannot express how much I love these shorts. I think the color is just so bright and fun. I know I've said it like 10 times, but I really love them. Okay, we're headed out the door, got my backpack. Leg day, here we come. I love everybody and I want everybody to work out and love it and everything. I don't have a problem with New Year's resolutions. I obviously set my own, like, I get it. But I will say I don't like the gym rush. It's just me being selfish. Like, like I said, I want everyone to be fit, whatever. But it really does suck, like January, February, going to the gym. I just had to park in a parking lot that's like, not even at my gym, it's like far away. Not super far, like across the street. I've never had to do that before. And I'm just like, I know it's gonna be hard to work out today because I know it's gonna be so, so crowded. So I just need to take a deep breath and accept it and take what I can get when it comes to equipment and weights and stuff. But yeah, little baby rant about how crowded the gym is in January. But I do love everyone who's working out and I, no bad blood, it's just inconvenient. Oh, horrible, horrible car lighting, but that's what we have when it's dark out. I ended up having to skip two things due to it just being too crowded and I need to get home for my class. But I'll tell you what I did. So I did four by eight squats, like barbell squats, three times 10 barbell RDLs, three by 10 machine seated leg curls, like the hamstring ones, three by 15 dumbbell sumo squat, 
and three by 15 cable kickbacks each leg. I ended up skipping hip thrusts and calf raises. So if you wanna do the workout, try to do all of it, but sometimes you just can't because I have a lot of time crunch, as I've said. But that was like one of the best workouts I've had in so long. I broke such a good sweat. Feels good to be back. I need to log on to class in 10 minutes, but I want to take a shower. So I'm about to take the quickest shower, put on some PJs, hop on to class. I have been using tretinoin as my retinoid lately, and I do really like it. I get it off like a app on my phone because you have to get a prescription for it. So I just kind of put it on areas where I get hormonal acne and like the center of my face so everywhere <laughs> I have this really weird I doubt you can see it but I have like this really weird texture going on on my face right now I think you can see it it happened like the day we got back from our trip so I don't know if I ate something or my body is just reacting from travel I swear like when you're or when I am out of my routine and stuff my body just totally does not like it one bit this is just my moisturizer feels so good and this is the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum I honestly don't think I've seen that much of a difference I've used it pretty consistently but I'm gonna finish it up you know you guys know how I am I use all my products up because like it can't be bad for me right that's probably not true, but you know. All right, time to log on to class. I'm gonna make like a protein shake or something because I don't have time to make food quite yet. I was just gonna see if you could help me set up the branch protections. I don't remember how we did that. I am done with my class for the night. It's nine o'clock, just logged off. I am not feeling great about this last final project, honestly. I'm having like some major imposter syndrome situations with the coding stuff. It's just like the last few weeks kind of got so hard that I just checked out in a way. So now that I'm having to use these concepts in a project, I am struggling a bit but the good thing is it is a group project and my group is very helpful so they're kind of definitely helping me out quite a bit but i just can't wait for this to be over and then i'm going to start on like a job search kind of thing i really want a more analytical role where i can use the coding skills that i have learned and that i have mastered so that's my plan with that is when this is up to just really hit the job search pretty hard and I'm just impatient like I want to start looking for a new job now um, I really want a salary raise to be honest I just feel like I need one in a sense I really want to pay off my loans a lot faster it's like with interest you know when you make a payment on your loan it's not at all what your payment is if that makes sense like you can make a $300 payment but with interest it's only like a $100 payment or something so I have also been thinking about getting like another job I know I do rover obviously and I have my corporate job but I've thought about doing maybe like waiting tables or bartending or something on the weekends just again for like some extra cash you guys, if you watch my channel, you probably have definitely noticed that I am like a workaholic in a sense. I don't stop. And I do think that can be bad when there are times that I feel burnt out and stuff. And I do allow myself to take breaks. I really do when I get to that point. But I just have so many goals, like especially when it comes to paying off debt, saving money, and like I have a certain lifestyle that I like to live. And I know that might not be like realistic for a lot of people, but like I work really hard to have that for myself. So if that means 
I need to bartend on the weekends to get my hair done and do what I want to do, then I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to work hard and have multiple jobs to have the lifestyle that I want while I'm paying off my debt, while I'm saving. But, you know, obviously in an ideal world, no one wants to have to work three different jobs. So in an ideal world, I would get a really good like software engineering type job where I wouldn't have to have a million side hustles. I could just focus on my job in tech and healthcare and like my social media, YouTube and stuff because those are the things that I love. But until the day comes that I can just focus on my career and my love for YouTube and social media, I will have these other side hustles which are Rover, possibly waiting tables, whatever. And that is just my mindset. I'm willing to work hard and I know one day I will get to where I don't have to hopefully have all these jobs and work quite as hard. But I will do it while I need to. So I don't know how I got on this little rant about that kind of stuff. It's just with the new year, something I've been thinking about wanting to really prioritize paying off debt. And in order to do that, you know, I need to work more. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. We'll see, who knows, maybe I'll get a promotion sooner than later. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It's like I said, nine o'clock. I'm gonna do some editing and get in bed and go to sleep. But the good news is I will see you all so very soon in my next video as in tomorrow. Bye guys.